Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Series and Sequences Unit Lesson 1, Sequences Home Review Part 3. And uh, make sure you catch Parts 1 and 2, where we're finding values for, in this case, the uh, terms for both a, a explicit definitions, in this case, for question number 1, and recursive definitions for number 2. Number three here, we're given the sequence 7, 11, 15, and 19. And one of the things we see is this, which of the followers is a formal that will generate it. Now, we can plug in what, you know the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 and see which ones will give us the answer. And so we see, for example, for A, when we plug in 1, oops, let me make this you know, more clear color. Uh, so we have 4 times 1 plus 7 is equal to 11. Uh, a2 is 4 times 2 plus 7 is equal to 15. Oh, not going to be that one. Not going to be that one. Okay. So, oh, it's 11 here. So, actually, from the, from the beginning, we can tell it's not going to be that one. So, all right. So, it can't be this one. All right. So, uh, let's try number 2. And so, we'll try number 2. And I'll use this color here. Uh, A1. 3 times 1 plus 4, that's 7, that's good. So that co covers the first one, A2. 3 times 2 plus 4, that gives us 6 plus 4 is 10. No, that's not it either, so it can't be this one. 3, for choice 3, we'll do, uh, again, A1. 3 times 1 plus 7 is equal to 10. Nope, that's not it either, because we only need 7 for the first term. So we're hoping it's four. <laughs> if we're not, we have, we're sort of trouble. So, so here we go. A1 is going to be four times one plus three equals seven. That's good. A2 is going to be four times two plus three. That's 11. Okay, good. A3 is going to be four times three plus three. 12 plus three is 15. That makes that one. And A4 is 4 times 4 plus 3, 19. So we have 7, 11, 15, and 19. So that's this one. So it must be choice 4. One other thing to look at in this case is that we notice that the increase is each time we're increasing by 4 every single time. And it's almost like a linear function, all these linear functions. Huh? So every time you increase the unit by 1, meaning the term by 1, we're increasing the, the, the actual value of the term by four, so a slope of four. So one way to look at it is that you, it could be could be choices, could be choices two and three because they don't have the they don't have the uh, uh, the slope of four. Only in this case one and four. So we could see in this case well it could be this one or this one, and you can test out and see. All right, that's one way to look at it as well too. Question number four. A recursive sequence is defined by a n plus one equals a n minus a n minus one with a one is equal to zero and a two is equal to one which the following represents a five the thing about recursive definition is that you really can't just plug in the five without knowing what a four and a three are so we're going to have to go through all these but we do know a two and a one so we're going to let now this is important though okay we want a three to get a three we have to let n equal to two so when n equals 2, a2 plus 1 equals 2 times a2 minus a2 minus 1, which really means in this case, we're going to get a3 is equal to 2 times a2 minus a1. Now, a2 is 1, so 2 times a2 is 2 times 1, minus a1 is 0. So we're going to get 2. So we get a3 equals 2. We continue with n equals 3. Now again, why is n equals 3? Because we want to find a4. And to get a4, we plug in a3 plus 1. See, the idea is that we eventually, with the a n plus 1, will give us the fourth term. So we're just plugging in n into these things. So we have a3 plus 1 is equal to 2 times a3 minus a three minus one, which really means in this case, a four equals two times a three minus a two. Now, 
2 times a3, a3 we know is 2, so 2 times 2, minus a2, and a2 is equal to 1, so minus 1, so 4 minus 1 is 3. All right, so we're so close now, we have a4, we're looking for a5, so we'll let n equal to 4, and so a4 plus 1, which is a5 we're looking for, is 2 times a4 minus a4 4 minus 1, which means a5 equals 2 times a4 minus a3. Now, a4 we found to be 3, so 2 times 3 minus a3, which we found to be 2, right? a3 is equal to 2. So we get 6 minus 2. And the answer is 4. So a5, so we'll list this out as a3 is equal to 2, a4 is equal to 3, and a5 is equal to 4. And so the answer would be choice 4. So you have to, again, when it says recursive definition, you're going to have to find all the terms in between. All right? And we see in this case, we usually see a, n, and then n, n minus 1, n minus 2, but it's the same concept of making sure we want to find, we want to find a3, we have to use n equals 2. That's why we use n equals 2 to get a3, just so we can fit them into the right, the right place. But we see that they're all consecutive minus, like n plus 1 is, is the next term after n, which is the next term after n minus 1. So they're kind of like, in this, you know, depending on how you see it, so you can write it as a of n equals 2 times a n minus 1 minus uh, a n minus 2. But, you know, because we don't have, uh, in, which is, in this case, that works out the same way. But we're going to kind of play around with, the, with these n values. Ends up the same thing, though, okay? Question 5. Which of the following formulas represent the sequence 10, 20, 40, 80, 160? And again, we're going to plug in the n values of so 1, 2, and 3, and see if we get 10, 20, 40. And if they work out, then we'll continue and see if they work out for all of them. So we can begin with a, with number 1, actually, in this case. So if a was a1 equals 10 to the first, which is 10, that's fine. a2 is equal to 10 squared, which is 100, not 20. So no good there. Let's try a second one. A2 is equal to 10 times 2 to the first. That's so A1. Sorry, A1 is equal to 10 times 2 to the first. Is equal to 20, and that's not the first term. The first term is 10, so it can't be this one. All right, let's try the third one. A1 equals 5 times 2 to the first. Okay, that's equal to 10. That's fine. A2 is equal to 5 times 2 squared, that's 2 squared is 4 times 5 is 20, that's good. A3 is equal to 5 times 2 to the third power, and that's uh, 8 times 5, which is going to be 40, looking real good. A4 equals 5 times 2 to the fourth power, and 2 to the fourth power is 16. 16 times 5 is 80. And A5 is equal to 5 times 2 to the fifth power. And uh, five, 2 to the 5th power is 32, 32 times 5 is 160, and it looks like choice C meets all the requirements here, so I believe 3 should be the answer. Now, we'll see in this case, just to test out and make sure that 4 is not correct, you know, it's like maybe, you know, maybe it's more than one answer, A1 is 2 times 1 plus 10, that's 12, so we already know that's no good. So we see in this case that the number of things we can do, we can basically uh, try to kind of plug in the values of 1, 2, 3, 4, like a function, like a function. So the rules, the sequences, these are all explicit definitions, very much like functions. We're plugging in the values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and seeing what they match up in the sequence, though. And that's basically what we should be doing, trying to figure out how we do these things. All right. I uh, hope this was helpful, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this will be the end of uh, review number three. If you found this helpful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified when new videos are added to the channel. Comments and questions are greatly appreciated. And I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. I know someone tried to um, 
someone asked questions about the about some log questions we had from before and i got back to them but a little bit late i sorry about that ladies. i'm trying to you know make sure to catch things up in all the videos i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video or we'll review number four and again I'll, you know hope these are helpful to you guys right anyway i'll see you next video take care and be safe